Hey everyone, this is Darius from the Shot Call and I'm sitting here with Mini Trupax from Vitality who just beat Fnatic as well. Congratulations. Thank you. So, man, you guys are kicking ass right now. Holy shit. How come you are so good? I mean, we're a team that came out of nowhere, right? Like me, Jizuke, Jactrel, Rin, like he's in another team as well, but he was like not that known. The only player known was Gillis and he had like a lot of downsides. Like recently he even like lost the promotion tournament with the NA Challenger Series, but I think ever since we started playing together, we, we actually really fit well together and we're so good playing as a team, you know, and we trust so much each other. We don't really have this big star, you know, that everyone needs. But I think that's perfectly fine because each game, everyone has their own bugs, you know, and then if someone fails, I know like, for example, Jizuke will carry or I know Kabo will carry or even like uh, Gilius or Jack Troll, so everyone got their bug. That's cool. You say that you don't have a star. Now, you are an impressive player yourself, but Jizuka, that guy has been putting in work on that rise. Is he one of the best mid laners in the, in the league right now? Because he's just been popping off. Definitely. I mean, I, when I did the interview after winning the promotion tournament against Shalkan of here at 3 2, I said that me and Jizuka were probably like one of the best. Uh, we were the best uh, bot AD uh, mid mid AD from the Challenger series and that made a lot of impact and right now we're performing really well like each one of us like he popped off two games of rise like non-stop I cannot I cannot compete against that you know like most broken era in the game and your mid laner plays fucking nuts on him you know like I'm really glad I have him in my team and I'm really glad Fnatic actually left us a uh, rise they were a bit cocky on that one and it paid off at the end of the world and well I mean against Fnatic I didn't have the best game ever but I'm still on death, that's pretty cool. Uh, I I carried when I had to on the game of Caitlyn against Giants, against our ex-former team. So, you know, like I like the philosophy that Zwen had. It's like, I don't need to be the big carry, but if my team needs to me to carry, I will carry. So is Zwen kind of uh, a role model for you? Reckless was my role model. Oh, and you just got to beat him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, my play style, if I had to define it with someone, like I like to put it like by side by side with Reckless, you know, like this thing of not doing risky stuff, not getting caught, like not dying at all and putting a lot of damage or as much damage as possible. That's the playstyle I like the most and I think it's the most efficient wise. So you just got to beat your role model. Um, now, realistically speaking, okay, Reckless has been around for ages now, but is your goal to, to eventually become a greater ADC than Reckless? Of course, like... I I didn't came here to take part, you know. We came here to take over. Like, if I don't beat Reckless, what what's the goal then? Go to international stages, maybe, and then choke or not be good enough? Of course not. If we wanna actually be a really good team, I need to be the best ADC in Western League. And even though Reckless has been here for ages and he has been performing super well, and I really respect him a lot, like I need to be better than him. For now, he's better than me. I'm just a rookie, it's my first split. I'm not coming here and in one split, I'm the best ADC of all times, but I'll eventually build. Now, before the, the spring split started, right? I did an interview with Upset, also a rookie, also an ADC. And he was like, well, I mean, Mini Trupax is good and all, but I think I have the edge and I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to getting that, uh, you know, uh, rookie of the split award. I think we have some good competition here. I mean, uh, the Rook of the Split it will be my team, okay? That, that I have no doubts in my mind. Either me, Jizuka or Jack Troll will get it. I, I think that we will actually will do well and I think constancy and keeping the good work in every game is one of the things that you should reward more on a player and we are actually performing every single game. We have some ups and downs but we are there and we are winning against even top teams. So I think we will get it. Upset. I mean, I really respect him, you know, as a player. I think he's kind of a cocky person, but he's a good player. The thing of having an edge on me, I mean, how? I just beat him in every single statistic. I just had a better result in Challenger Series so far when he played against me. So technically speaking, I'm better than him and he cannot prove it wrong until he plays against me. I'm definitely looking forward to it because, of, of course, uh, this will be the first, right after this uh, will be the first series that Upset actually gets to play on stage. We'll get to see him for the first time in LCS. I mean, I can't wait for the two of you to play against one another. I mean, I, I believe a lot of people want us to, to play against each other because even on Twitter there is a, a lot of banter and 
a lot of trash talk. I really like it. I, I think it it creates some you know some enthusiasm on European LCS. So I'm looking forward to that one as well. And of course, you know, like I'm German, for example, and I have to admit that our scene. Compared to the Spanish scene, for example, compared to parts of the French scene, we're behind. We don't have as many talented players as, as other countries do. So when there is someone like Upset, you know, we, we try to uh, push them up to, to the best of your uh, the, all abilities. You are the very first Portuguese player, so you have like all the for Portuguese support because you're the only option, really. Yeah, I mean, even if I had other Portuguese, I will be the, the most supported one. Like, I, I will outperform any Portuguese player right here you know like i always try to do my best and even though like we're a kind of rookie team we're taking over slowly but surely and doesn't really matter you know like of course german people will cheer for upset like that hasn't been like a really good german edc for some time i think like i don't remember any anyone i mean cedrion was there i guess yeah but challenger, but... challenger series you know and mass esports he got relegated like not, not that good so yeah. i understand that and he's a good player not taking that, he's probably top four, uh, top five, Eddie Carey Europe, in my opinion. But I'm better. All right. Yeah. Again, and, I'm, and that's just a fact. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can argue against the fact. <laughs> you heard it from him. Uh, now, what if Z Sven would be still in ULCS though? Oh, that will be a really tough. Like right now, I, I will rank um, Reckless the first, mm -hmm. and Sama. Mm -hmm. And after that, I'm not sure who's the third one okay. because I haven't faced the other ones. You know, I had like I think Jordan is good, but he has been having really bad games in ULCS. I think they lost already two games out of three. And then there are like another great ETs, of course. But for example, I don't think Iku is nearby me. I really face him. I don't think who, who are others. Uh, Samox like some. still back. I really face him. You know, like I don't think these these ones are for Perso. I choose. I just look forward to to face the others and just see how it goes. Like today, I faced Reckless. He he, for, he performed well. I performed well as well. But you know, it it wasn't that relevant AD in this game. So I think I'm pretty I'm a pretty top level at the moment. Like as an ADC speaking, and I don't really compare myself to others. Like I'll let the analysts do that. Like I just pull my games. They can say whatever they want. They said we will be eighth place or something like that. Look at us now. I mean, you guys are 3 you know right now as the only team. Very, very impressive, of course. Now, I've talked to, to other players, of course, and uh, a consistent theme that I've seen over the past week is that a lot of players felt like their own play feels less relevant than in previous splits due to the current meta. Basically that, you know, all the players somewhat have a relatively equal amount of impact because everyone's super tanky and stuff. But especially like carry players, mid laners and ADs were a bit iffy on, on, on that side. And of course we see Jizuka just pop off completely. So apparently Jizuka has got it figured out. But in general, do you agree with that, the notion that it's a lot harder to carry these days? I think whoever said that as a mid laner has absolutely no idea how to play this game. Because mid laner will be always the most important role. Imagine you have a map, you have to play through it, and you have a lane in the middle of the map. How broken is that? You know, like you, you can go top or you can go bot faster, you know? Like if you want to go from bot to top, you take ages, yeah. you lose a lot of them, but you're mid lane. If you win mid lane, like the game is so much easier in every single aspect, you know? Like it's all about mid. If a mid laner tells me that the role is not relevant, come on, come on, man. you really don't. You really deserve to lose this game. You, know? you don't deserve to be here in the European LCS. Well, well to be fair, I, I predominantly talk to to junglers and and ADs and top laners right now. So a AD, AD, in this meta, it's harder to punish because like this Targon thing, you have four Targons, you have like a lot of potions, you have fleet work. Like it's really hard, you know. Like I played Caitlyn twice, but. Did anyone else play Caitlyn? Like, you don't uh, really pick, play these. Yeah, I think there was a Caitlyn bullies. today before. I think it was Giants who picked Caitlyn. I think it was. But oh yeah, Giants. But they, they didn't hurt some play. Why? Because you really can't at the moment. You know, next patch is another thing. They remove the target, so it's yeah. easier. Like if you fuck up, you really fuck up. Right now, if you fuck up, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of you don't have that much impact outside the lane phase. You know, like against Giants, we screwed up. But we still hold on the game. Uh, six items, I just popped off. 
Why? Because my role is an AD carry, it's light game oriental, you know? But if I can't really bully the lane, I won't have that much impact. If my mid laner gets ganks, he gets like going top, he kills, he gets ganks mid, he kills, he will have a lot of impact and that's why we're winning so many games, because we know how to play this game and mid lane is really important role. <laughs> <laughs> and he's popping off, yeah. So, uh, I mean, I'm very excited to see you play once Targans has been removed and stuff, because, I mean, your fuck ups will have a worse impact for you, but you will also be able to punish a lot more players, and I'm very excited to see that for sure. Now, is there anything you would like to say to the plenty Team Vitality fans that are out there? Maybe even some Giants fans. I mean, thank you for cheering for us, those few that actually believed in this team, because when the team was released, people were like, oh, really, this was the hype team? Well, yeah, it's a hype team, no? We just don't have the names, we'll eventually have them when we have the chance, so... Don't talk. Don't talk when you don't know about it. That, that's a rule, I think. Like you know, you know, you don't can judge a book by its cover. Like we're kind of nowheres, but we did really well, and we're doing our best job to to keep it up. So far, we're three zero, and we'll look to keep it up. Thank you for supporting. You heard it from the main man, Mini Trupax himself. Make sure to pick him up for your fantasy LCS squad. I sure did. This was Darius from the Shot Caller. Have a good day. See ya.